I did a lot of blow. He goes, you'd have to do incredible amounts of blow. I said, well, there's a small mountain in Peru missing. And uh, he goes, that much, Lynn? I go, that much, yeah. Well, yeah. oh, that fucking whole crew. I mean, Sweeney and I talked about it when uh, he did the show. That whole crew, that Nick Comedy Stop crew was a cocaine oh. fucking extravaganza. Oh, yeah. I was very fortunate that I did, that didn't, still haven't, never did coke. Oh, was no. not my thing. Don't. So I, I went. To, I went to Colombia to see where it was made. <laughs> I, I really did. I, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was going on because you were a connoisseur. Oh, oh my God! Like I doing went a there, wine tour. Took me two days to score. Because, I said, "Wait, no, <laughs> really? all the blow. Yeah, they said we sent it all to America, Mr. Lenny. I go, well, hold on. There's got to be a new shipment. And then I got an ounce of blow for two hundred dollars. You know, I had Is that a, a lot. I, you know, I couldn't even finish it in a week. You know, but I tried. You know, How much it, is an ounce of blow? What does it look like? You know the, the scar size. face thing? Yeah. You know scar bigger than that. That's, That's like twenty eight grams. Yeah. Oh, yeah. An ounce of blow. Yeah. Like an but an ounce of pot is like Yeah. Like yeah, like that much. Is yeah. that the same thing with Coke? That would bigger? seem bigger to me. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I had it everywhere. Yeah. I remember the girl said, Lenny, you have to decide whether it's a Coke or me. I said, Do you want a line for the road? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I know what happened to her. But it was it was it was amazing. I really enjoyed Columbia. But uh Did you go there just for Coke? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. No, no, I went back recently, a couple of years ago, I went to do uh uh a burn notice. They were filming a movie. And, okay. And, and uh they asked me to come down, and I went down there, and I went. I remember some of this, you know, but I, well, I wasn't, you know, doing it now. But I saw Spanish. No, I had no one to run lines with. <laughs> uh, when did you stop doing it? Twenty-two Three years ago. Years. Wow. Twenty twenty-three. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a good amount of time. Well, I had to. You know, I was doing this movie, and uh, the, I finished. It. I, the guy. I, I had to throw this guy through a wall. And I really liked the guy, you know, and, and I didn't want to hurt him. And he said, no, no, you got to. So I put him through the wall and took a door off the hinges. And he said, Lenny, we don't own that door. This is Whitey Bulger's place. I go, hey, man, I'm done after today. You know, someone's going to pay Whitey. So the guy, I got, I finished, and I bought a bag of blow and whiskey and a bag of dope and some beers. And guys, you happy? I said, yeah. Said, you want to get real happy? I said, you don't scare me. So we'll pick you up at 6 a.m. So I went back to the hotel and met my buddy, my childhood buddy, we went out. He said, let's see how many bars we can go to before they charge us for booze. You know, say, hey, let her, yeah. So, was, so we ended up <laughs> at the tall ships down at, uh, at the, uh, Faneuil Hall, and the guy didn't know me. So we paid. We said, we'll stay here. Then he realized who I was. Then we drank free, went back, and we're doing blow, and the door bangs open. And Wiggle freaks out. He said, what is it? He said, the guys, come on, we're going, we're going to like a rave. And he took me to an AA meeting in South Boston. And, uh, it just, it clicked. You know, I thought it was a gag. I said, I had to blow with me. And I said, come on, one's in the line. Just listen, listen, listen. This is after a bender? After, what? During a bender. I still <laughs> had to blow on me. And I, I thought it was a rave. I thought we were going, you know, with the Who church took you? Base, my Phil Barano, he was my, he's still my sponsor today, you know. Wow. And he he's just... a young kid. And, you know, I said, well, you know, how did you get, I said, well, did you have a problem? He says, I used to go into banks with a shotgun. <laughs> Everyone on the floor. I go. Ah, you can be my sponsor. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and the so best he, thing, Joe, we got sober together. Yeah. Lenny uh, and I. Yeah. Same day. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. 23 years. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. It's uh, That was a, a thing about that whole Boston cruise that it was all kind of tied to drugs. Oh. And the comedy had that feel to it oh. because the comedy was frantic. You know, and there was a thing. Bang, of, yeah. Bang, 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 bang. There was a thing about the guys who came out of Boston, like still to this day. They had like the fastest pace, the most punchlines, <laughs> and the audiences there were used to that. So they yes. didn't want any bullshit. Uh, and they would tell you, yeah. they would t if you weren't good, they go, "You suck tonight. Get off." And, <laughs> and, and, and we would have there were there were times when I'd say, "This is going to be new material tonight." Anyone who doesn't do new material, the minute you do anything you've done before, get off the stage. So Roger's going to be sitting at the back, and some you've done that. He, he throw a shot glass, and we shatter on the wall. You know, Next, you know, it was it. and it made you come. And the the people, the, like you said, the audiences that came in there would come every week. Yeah. So you'd have to, and they would not settle for any bullshit. You know that, that blows. That's no good. Dump yeah, them. there was a there was a whole scene there. It wasn't just the comics. It was like comedy connoisseurs. There was so many people that came to those but clubs. The 